Hi everyone, back here again for another video to show you the Logitech K380 keyboard and M337 Bluetooth mouse. If you have seen my other videos, you will know and have heard me say many times that I got this too since 2017. Now that we are in 2021, is it still worth it? And is it the right keyboard and mouse combo for the iPad? Let's have a look. First, let me show you my simple setup. I obviously have these two Logitech devices and my iPad. My iPad is an 11 inch 2020 version, 128 gigabytes in space gray. I'm using the Smart Folio case as my iPad stand. I got this case as a birthday gift along with my Apple Pencil, so thank you again to you. You know who you are. Now using the K380 and the M337 is I guess the same as with any other iPad that is compatible with these Logitech devices. As I don't own an iPad Air 4 nor an iPad 8 Gen, I can only assume it will work the same as with my iPad Pro. If your iPad is on the latest iPadOS version, then it should work the same way. In fact, I still use this keyboard on my iPad Air 3 and it works fine. Connecting these two devices is by Bluetooth, obviously. I have shown in many of my videos how to connect this by Bluetooth, but let me show you guys again how to do it. And just a side comment here, my K380 keyboard's battery level is low, and that's why it's just showing the red light here instead of the green. So after I turn on the device and the iPad's Bluetooth, I set it on to pairing mode and then I choose the name on the iPad and now I'm connected. It will be the same steps to connect the M337 mouse to the iPad. The pairing button is at the bottom of the mouse, uh, while on the other hand for the K380, the pairing is via these three buttons. And as you may already know, these three buttons will allow me to use this keyboard on three devices and switching is easy with just a tap. You may see this warning message saying using the K380 may affect Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connection. I see this warning whenever I use my Logitech devices, but I never really had any uh, issues with my keyboard or mouse disconnecting and even my Wi-Fi. It remains connected, both the keyboard, mouse, and my Wi-Fi connection. Now using the K380 on more than one device is really smooth to use. I can pair this to another device and here it's my iPad Air 3. I simply pick the switch I want to use, either two or three because one is already for my iPad Pro. And then I can switch between devices easily. I don't notice any lag at all and connection is always stable. On the other hand, the M337 mouse is not as easy to use on more than one device. And to be fair, this is not advertised to be a multi-device mouse anyway. Here's what I mean. I'm already connected to my iPad Pro. If I want to use it to my other iPad, I cannot just pair it to make it work. I need to not only disconnect it from my other device, but I also need to click on forget device. I then click on the pairing button and go back to the other iPad to connect. And when I want to go back to the other iPad, even if I was already connected previously, I cannot simply tap here to connect. I need to again click on forget device on both iPads and do the pairing process again. If you want a mouse that you can use easily with more than one device, Try out the Logitech M585. I've also made a video about it, so check it out in the cards or in the description box below. Now, let me show you some of my most used mouse gestures.
Now, as to typing on the K380, if you've seen my other videos, you will know I love this keyboard. I like the subtle clicks with the low key travel as it does not strain my fingers. This is my own preference and if you're watching this, maybe you like it too. Though I know a lot of people out there prefer the mechanical keyboards. Anyway, I tried to do a fast 10 fingers test, hoping I will type well, but no, I failed. So I will just use this clip to show you how the typing feels like on the K380. Now, I'll show you some tips in using the K380 on the iPad. First, some keys don't work as it should be. Example, the question mark types a different character. This is because of the iPad's keyboard setting. It could be set to another language. So, simply switch to English keyboard and then it should type correctly afterwards. Second, the function keys are not customizable when using it on the iPad. It can be customized if you use it on a Windows or Mac perhaps, but you would need the Logitech Options app to do the customization. Next, for the function keys, obviously the function one, two, and three are for switching devices. Now, F4 is to go back to the home screen and double tap will bring you to the app switcher. And it works the same with the F7 key. Then the F5 and F6 don't do anything, while the rest F8, F9, F10, F11, and F12 are self-explanatory uh, It's to skip tracks, play pause, mute, and adjust the volume. For the F12, you can also use it to switch uh, languages on the iPad and also to choose an emoji by doing function and F12. And last tip, to lock the iPad, you could do the function plus L key. And to unlock, simply tap on any keys. And if you have the iPad Pro, and it will activate the face ID, and it will unlock them. Now, here are my Top 5 Most Used Shortcuts I always use the Spotlight Search. It comes in really handy to find and open apps without going through the home screen and fiddling around the folders. So to activate Spotlight Search, it's the command and spacebar. Next, my favorite one when I'm typing texts on Google Docs or in Notes is to do the shift, control, and arrow keys to highlight the line. The other usual shortcuts like command C to copy, command V to paste, or command Z to undo all work. The same with formatting like command B for bold, command U for underline, and command I for italics. And lastly, of course, the command plus tab is the easy way to switch around recently used apps. In my opinion, the K380 and M337 are great iPad accessories. It gives me the laptop feel that helps me be productive while using my iPad. It is definitely a cheaper alternative to Apple's Magic Keyboard or Smart Folio Keyboard or the Magic Mouse or Trackpad. And even if it has been existing for years, Logitech still sells it because I think the design still fits this modern times and simply because it is functional and it works as it should be. So that's it. Thanks for watching.